you, Elizabeth, for taking the time out of your day to sit down with Locker Room Talk to talk about how we can make the recruiting process an easier one for high school recruits. We appreciate your time and help. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you for having me. What would you have wanted to know going into the recruiting process that would have made the process easier for you? I think that I would have wanted to know that coaches are really looking for players who are going to be a good fit at their schools and not just players who are talented at their sport. What are some do's and don'ts of the recruiting process? Uh, do's and don'ts. Okay, so do look at schools as a whole. Don't just look at uh, the record of the program that you're trying to look at. Look, Don't shoot coaches blanket emails saying, dear coach, I'm a student, blah, blah, blah. I'm good at the sport. Try and personalize it as much as you can because a coach is trying to know how interested you really are in the program. What are the main do's and don'ts for a recruit's highlight tape? Um, I would say make a tape that's um, like a chunk of time. Don't do a bunch of, don't do like 20 shots of like one play because any athlete can find one time that they did something good, you know, 20 times over a season. Rather find a period of like 10 minutes when you did a lot of really dynamic things and when you like made a real impact on the court or on the field so that a coach can see how you like flow with your team, how you can like read a field or a court and they don't, they're not just seeing, you know, 10 times when you spiked the ball through the ground. What is the most important thing to remember while going through the recruiting process? I think the most important thing to remember is that you're trying to find a school in which you're going to be happy at. You're not just trying to find a program in which you are going to succeed. What type of questions would you suggest recruits ask on their visits? I would suggest asking how close the team is and um, what the team chemistry is. I would ask the coach to talk about what he expects of his players on and off the court and how the sport is going to restrict classes that they can take or any sort of academic restrictions that they might have. If Locker Room Talk was a resource when you started the recruiting process, would you have used them and why? I would have definitely used it. I had really no idea what coaches were looking for and I was relying entirely on my club coaches to like help facilitate that process. And so when I look back at the emails that I was sending coaches, I was just sending them like a smorgasbord of like random things about myself. And I could have been so much more direct. And Do you have time to be involved in other things on campus, like clubs, other sports, maybe study abroad? Definitely. Um, I studied abroad last spring and my coach was completely supportive of it. I am in a bunch of clubs on campus. I run a debate club. Um, I used to play on the Ultimate Frisbee team in the spring, which she was also really supportive of. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Definitely. Thanks again for having me.